Hi, and welcome to my training on Flippa. This is Chris, and this uh, is Flippa.com. Flippa.com is a site that uh, where you buy and sell websites, and you can also buy and sell domains. Uh, there are some other sites like SitePoint. Uh, you can buy and sell uh, websites on eBay. Um, but we're going to focus this training on Flippa um, because this is the site I use most, and I do find it uh, you know, has been very effective. I have had no problems with using Flippa in the past. And I will show you uh, how to navigate through the site now. So firstly, we have our choice of uh, whether we want to buy or sell a website or buy or sell a domain. And what we're going to focus on in this training is buying a website and some of the things we want to look for uh, when looking to buy a website. So we'll click on websites here. And uh, we are seeing now all the different websites will pop up. We have featured. Well, featured is what's popped up. We have new listings, most active, ending soon, just sold. Ended and unsold. These are ones that didn't meet the reserve price, which I'll explain in a few minutes what that means, reserve price. And then you have here high and mid range and entry level. Uh, if you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of capital to put into a website or to buy one, uh, you can start here and then you know you build your business from scratch. There's nothing wrong with that, and that's what I did. I, I, I bought two sites when I originally started uh, my internet business from home, and you know it pretty much broke the bank to buy those sites. So I didn't have much left, and what I did was start using the, more, the free traffic methods, you know, writing articles, things like that, until I had some more capital. And then I started promoting those sites with paid traffic in other ways, and that's when I started to make business, you know, get the, get the conversions and customers. However, if you do have some more money, then you can, you know, skip this kind of building process and get right to it with sites that are already making money uh, if you have that capital. The mid ranges are great, and if you, you know, you have a lot of money. Well, then you know these sites go up five hundred thousand plus. So um, you know they could definitely accommodate you. Uh, you know, there's everything here from the uh, we can call them penny sites to the blue chip sites, <laughs> and everything in between. So really, what this training is about, those two, to what to watch out for, you know, what to look for in a website, and what is really a good buy. Um, again, because there's so many different areas for you to get into, I'm not gonna. You know, I'm going to look more at a basic website for, um, you know, let's let, let's look at e-commerce because you know most people who like building a small internet business, um, you know, think of it in that way. I build a website, you know, I have a product, and then people come and buy it. Of course, as you know from my site, there are many other ways to make money from home. But at the moment, let's focus on e-commerce and uh, see what what we pull up. Okay, so let's scroll down. Oh, great. Oh, actually, okay. So this is a site that I actually visited recently. And I don't remember offhand now. Let's see, okay. Okay, what attracted me to look at this site, as you see here, um, this gives you the profits per month of, of each one of these sites, or the claim profits. Uh, this is the actual revenue coming in. So it's saying that, you know, it's, it's bringing in 600 and they're probably spending around 100 And they're making 500 now. This, the reason why I think I clicked on this site is because this, this number seems realistic. You know, for this kind of price, uh, this is about what you want to see. You know, there's some sites that, you know, they're 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 selling for, uh, well, let's say, you know, five hundred dollars, but they're claiming that they make, you know, eighteen hundred in profit every month. Well, come on, you know, who's doing that? And then they'll claim on their description letter that they have to sell because they need the money right away. And, you know, I, I don't know. I find that very fishy, and I, I rarely would even look at a site like that. So I do remember clicking on this site. Let's see what it's about again. Um, obviously, it wasn't uh, something I was interested in. I don't remember why, though, at the moment. So let's see what we have here. All right, and I'll just pause this for a second while it loads. Oh, okay, it loaded. We didn't have to do that. So. Uh, all right. Okay. So yes, I remember this site, and you know, there's a few reasons why I didn't like this site uh, from the beginning. Now, let me scroll down and show you if I remember correctly. Okay. Yeah. Right. So here, firstly, this is what you should be seeing when you come to the site right here, because number one, look at it's visual. You, know, you have this woman here, and you have all these beautiful flower arrangements. You know, oops, excuse me, my site is uh, going a little haywire here. And what you do have, the most important thing is you have, is you have this here, Subscribe to Wedding Accessories by Esther, and uh, this name and email, this opt-in. And these, this opt-in is, this is what you want above the fold is what it's called. So if you don't know what that means, that means, you know, let's go to the top of this website. That means this is above the fold. As soon as you start to have to scroll, you're going below the fold. 
So above the fold is where we want our offer, and we want, you know, we're a visual society. That's just the way it is. You know, we, you know 3D television, you know, our cell phones, we're always looking at visual, you know, videos and movies and television. It's, you know, it's our society, commercials. So this isn't helping that, you know. This isn't helping it at all, and I'm not interested, and I don't really want to read a bunch of stuff. So I don't like that website already for that reason, but I, I think I'm remembering now uh, some more reasons, which I will click back in a minute and get to. But as you can see, you know, this is important stuff. If you're selling a website and you're asking for five, here, now here's a video way down here. You know, and if you're asking for, you know, $5,000 for a website, well, guess what? This is not worth it um, to me, to me. So let's look at some other things. Now let's go back on the uh, flip a site where this bridal bouquet commerce um, is. So let's look at some other stuff here of why I don't like this site, you know, now that I remember. Is okay, here's some other things that you're looking at when you want to buy a site from somebody. And whether you're spending a hundred dollars or five thousand or five hundred thousand, you know, this becomes more and more important as those numbers rise. So firstly here, this woman has, or this person, I don't mean to say woman, I don't know who owns this, but uh, this person here has, you know, not a lot of detail and not really okay. When you're buying a site for $5,000, no one wants to see uh, five lines of description. Uh, it, it's not, it just does not make any smart buyer feel comfortable. So let's see what they're saying. Okay, this WordPress e-commerce was launched and da-da-da, design logos are original. I mean, so who cares, you know? It's currently on Google's page one for bridal bouquets. Mm -hmm. So again, it's still it's on that for bridal case. It's only bringing in you know this this revenue. But again, here's the real warning. See this warning: the seller has provided estimates. Read more. Now, what this means is that you have a chance if you're a seller to put um, statistics. You can actually take screenshots if you want of your PayPal account or whatever account uh, you know is, is making the money that this money from the site is going to. And many people do that, especially when you're getting into um, you know, a $5,000 price point. So, you know, this person doesn't have any of that. And as you, you know, scroll down, this is what, you know, this is what, you, this is the place where it would be. And there's no, there's no numbers there. So that's not good. And now we go down even further, and we see here, you know, that the trust rating is only two, and there's no feedback. So this person is just not someone that you're going to spend uh you know, for me, a smart buyer would just not spend five thousand plus dollars for the site. So uh, I also then now I told you I would talk about the reserve. The reserve then is this: is that you know you have to spend uh, by uh, excuse me bid at least five thousand dollars, or your uh, or, or or the site is not going to activate. So you know someone can bid three thousand, four thousand, but until this for it to get activated, see it says enter five thousand or more. Sometimes they won't have the reserve price. You have to ask the reserve price. You know, you could just you could always send a private message to these uh, to these um, sellers. So it looks like you know this person here. It says typically sellers attach proof of traffic and proof of sales. See, they go. Do you plan on adding those? So okay. So this person here, you know, right away he picks up on the fact that you know here's a site someone wanting to sell it for five thousand dollars to seven thousand, and they don't even have any statistics. So let's see what they say. Yeah, sure. I usually send them the proof of sales to their email, and I make a temporary login from my Google Analytics. If you're interested, I could send you both. Okay. So look, you know, they're answering. They're they're saying, you know, this is again. I still wouldn't buy a site like this. You know, this person, they just don't have enough feedback. They don't have enough trust. And when I spend that kind of money, and their site isn't that great, you know. So when I spend that kind of money, I am not uh, would not be happy with a site like that. So that's part one. Um, I hope this gives you an idea of you know how to analyze a site, how to look at a site. Uh, I want to uh, do. I guess we'll do a part two. I'm going to end this one now because we're close to 10 minutes, and of course YouTube doesn't let any videos over that. So let me end this part now, and I'll see you in part two.